What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be redoing my baby box turtle enclosure. It's starting to smell and it's starting to get really old and musty. So I figured why don't we take out all the mud and replace it and feed the turtles at the same time. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I hope you guys stay tuned until the end because this is a really fun and exciting video. And without further ado, let's go to on to our shout outs and then on with the video. Today's shout out is going to be easy, fun, life, so make sure to subscribe to his channel. Link is down below. If you want to get shouted out in the next video, make sure to leave a comment down on one of my videos, and I'll shout you out in the next video. So right here's my baby box turtle aquarium, and this is the one I'm going to be cleaning today. So step one is to remove the top and the lamp. Now that we have removed both of those, it's time to get the container for feeding the baby box turtles. Here's the feeding container that I'm going to be putting the turtles in while I clean the tank. So step three is to get the turtles. So right here we have our baby turtle, and I'm going to place the last one in here. Now all we have to do is get the worms, add their food, and I'm just gonna place it in here and let them eat while I go clean the aquarium. And I also put some dandelions in there so that they can try out some vegetables. Now that step three has been completed, it's time to take the aquarium outside. It's time to begin step five, where we remove all these little plastic plants and stuff out of here. Now that the rocks and plants have been taken out of the aquarium, just hose this completely down and wash all the dirt inside of this drain. <laughs> Step five and six have been completed. So now all we have to do is wash down these decorations, which is step seven. Step seven has finally been completed and all the things have been washed. We just have to get some dirt that is completely out of the area and is not affected by pesticides. So what I'll do is I go to a place that's very rural and away from anything, and I find some dirt that looks like this. It is really healthy and it is away from pesticides or anything bad so it'd just be like if they were in the wild so what i'll do is i'll just dig this up and put it in a shovel and i'll keep putting this inside the aquarium and go all the way back and i just take the mud and put it in the aquarium way to where it's sloped and i'll show you guys later what i mean by that and the good thing about this is that you can find little grubs like this inside of the soil that the turtles will find and search for while they're inside the aquarium so that they'll have their own food without me having to feed them so I just put the dirt in here and this is exactly the way I want it. I want to have some kind of water area so that if they do not want the water then this in, it, that is in this area, they can just go here. I'll have the slate rocks in here and everything else. And what I meant by a slanted pattern is to have the highest part is right here and then it goes into like a beach sort of way and the water will be like that. So it'll be sort of like a beach and this is the perfect environment for a baby turtle. Now let's move on to putting the decorations inside of the aquarium. So these leaves, I want to act as like seaweed. So I want to put them like right in this area here so that the turtles can have some sort of area to get out in case they drown. But the chance of drowning is very low because the water will be like less than an inch. And if you wonder why I use slate rocks is because they're flat and they actually absorb most of the heat than other rocks and they are really warm. So the turtles really enjoy these because they're flat and they can also be good as feeding platforms. So I'm gonna put this right here where the center of light hits. And the same thing goes for all these other rocks. Now that three quarters of the tank has been completed, it's time to show you something that I really enjoy. So one of my most favorite part is to get an edible plant for the turtles, which is also a dandelion. Turtles love dandelions and their leaves. So I'll get the seeds and I'll also put these inside of the aquarium. So what this dandelion will do is that if I put the seeds inside of the aquarium, the sun will hit it and the water will make it grow. So now what I'll do is blow all these seeds inside of here and these will grow into plants that the turtles can eat. So now that I blew all the seeds inside of here, it's time to bring this inside. So whenever I fill up this turtle tank, I always try to use the pond water from outside because this water is a lot better and it doesn't have chlorine in it. The last thing we need to do is replace this screen because as you can see, it is really, really big for this aquarium and it is taking up a lot of space and is not necessary. So right here is the net that I've been wanting. This is the perfect size for the aquarium. So now the final step is to get the baby box turtle. So right here are the baby the turtles, and I'm going to put them right inside of their aquarium that they will enjoy for the rest of spring. Now we just have to put the screen on here, and finally we just have to put the lamp on top of here. So we're going to turn it on in three, two, one. That is awesome. So now the babies will live in here for the rest of spring. As soon as April or May comes, we'll put them inside of their outdoor enclosure that I'm going to be building in a future video. So that should be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and I really appreciate you guys watching till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.